Hey you guys and welcome back to the part 3 of the strategy for more of the dead and exactly where we left off. We just landed and we're just gonna run and now what you're gonna wanna do as soon as you land you're gonna wanna turn on Juggernog but obviously you can't buy it because um, you, you, you've just used up your afterlives. So what you're gonna wanna do is with the money you've had, if you don't have that much just don't worry but you're gonna wanna use as much MP5 bullets until it runs out and then I'll show you what to do after that. So you, you're using all your MP5 bullets up, not really caring about them. There's a nuke, should I collect it, should I not? Oh, I collect it. Now I've collected the nuke. Um, I ain't got that much bullets left, so I'll show you what you're gonna do. Once you've used up your bullets, or just bored with the MP5, you're gonna buy this gun. Good training gun. And you're gonna still have the B23R. And yeah, this are gonna be your, are these are gonna be what you're gonna use your training so yeah um, that's basically the strategy basically now now we've got our afterlife left we're gonna go and run back up into this place and turn jug on normally I would get you to buy a deadshot daiquiri but um, oh, it's not really a necessity but yeah guys also with this strategy I would get you to hit the box as well so, but obviously we can't. Alright, as soon as you've turned on Jug, you're just going to revive your player. Oh, what the hell happened there? Um, yeah, and then you're just going to buy Jug. Um, if you don't have money, just save up for it. Now, these are the two probably necessary perks you need. I would say you need speed killer as well, but not a necessity, guys. Not a necessity. Well, it is if you have like an L cell sink, but not too much of a necessity. Now, all you really want to do on this is hit the box a couple of times not really much of stuff to do now I'm just going to be showing you some high round well I don't have high round footage sorry but I'm going to be showing you what the kind of stuff you're going to want to be doing is you're just going to be shooting at all these barriers and keep reloading guys like don't get trapped by that but as long as you have jug you're perfectly fine you're not really going to go down that much if you get bored around this spot and finding it too easy because you can keep buying wall ammo it's fine just um Go back and just go where you think's obvious, guys. Where you think is a good idea. So yeah, I will be doing one of these for die rise as well. And yeah, I'm doing quite a lot of like strategy guides. The only thing is, you don't want to get trapped in here, but it's quite a good like four player technique if you just all stay at here shooting down. And plus, there is always watch your back, guys. Don't ever let yourself just get down. There is a trap here. Yeah, there's a nuke. Yeah, as soon as you've lost all your ammo, I'm going to be shooting out. Oh god. Yeah, you're just going to want to go and buy some more ammo. So, yeah. As you can see, I've got loads of money. So if you feel you have loads of too much money, then you can just start opening doors around the map. Like, as I'm, you're going to be seeing now. Open that. Make yourself in here. you got MP5. You can even open this one. And then you've just got some spots to sort of train about in. Not too much of great use, but... There, just spots you can train out in. Probably gonna go and head to Deadshot Daiquiri. You, no, I'm not gonna head to Deadshot Daiquiri. I'll show you the route to Deadshot Daiquiri. What the hell's that? Oh, House of Trains. So yeah guys, um, yeah, well, done it, well, just need to, well, you just keep opening up doors guys, that's what I can recommend, if you open up doors, oh, I didn't really want to come in here, this is part of the easter egg if you don't know, and guys, you're just going to want to keep training, that's what I can recommend, um, keep running around, keep going around the map if you really feel like it, you get to high rounds. My, I have got very high rounds hit solo, I've got 24 solo. It's actually on the leaderboards legit, so if you send me a friend request you can see and it's using this strategy and I also had the ray gun from where I first wanted the box to be. That was a really good technique. If you ever run out of ammo in combat, just you can always just run away. Hit where you just hope to get back. So see I'm getting not that low on ammo, but always have that bit of ammo to just blow your way through their heads. Oh, and then sometimes you just get random things like that. 
By the way, you sometimes you say like reload for a max ammo. Don't always say that on like multiplayer because it always, well not multiplayer, I mean when you play multiplayer on this. Sometimes it puts people off. And also the point of buying cherry, well electric cherries, so when you get trapped it sort of stuns them from hitting you. you. Keep reloading every time you do a lot of shots. Hey, let's turn this on and buy this. And the other perk I'd say you need is Deadshot Daiquiri or Speaker, like your own choice. It just depends what you do. So we're just going to find a shock box, so yeah. And then after this, I'll just be showing you. In fact, I'll end this video here. Hello, okay, goodbye guys then. See you in the next video, which will be the last part probably. Goodbye.